Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, man, Black Friday. Not excited. Black Friday 2018 sucks. Why? Why does it suck? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. And I'm talking about specifically for gamers. I don't care about crockpots and vacuums and pajamas, pajajays. I don't care. I don't care about that crap. I care about the video game sales. Black Friday 2018 sucks balls. And there's a big reason why. Now, I don't care what you think about Black Friday. I have my own thoughts. I mean, have I enjoyed going out shopping on Black Friday in the past? Hells yes, I have. Black Friday used to be something where it was actually on Friday, but now it's on Thursdays. But that's not my biggest complaint. Sure. I'm actually kind of happy. But sure, you, you know, some of us, myself included, would probably prefer to stay home with our family and maybe watch a movie or go out to see a movie or something. Spend time with our friends and family. You know, if that's what you're into, right? Not everybody is, and I get it. You know, it's not that big a deal. But it's also, at the same time, it has been pretty cool to me in the past to go out and, you know, shop on Black Friday, go, you know, intermingle with a bunch of sweaty people and uh, see some fights and some crazy stuff. You know, that, that was kind of fun. You know, it was fun while it lasted. But, you know, Black Friday, yeah, it's earlier and earlier every year. But this year, I'm actually not excited for it anymore and there's a reason for that and the reason i know i've done some videos talking about some of these black friday sales i know i talked about like all this stuff best buy is doing uh target i'm still looking at this mario maker 3 uh, 2ds even though they're so confusing with the way they okay it says super mario maker 3ds and then nintendo 2ds man nintendo you guys got to figure out your naming conventions here to make things simpler for people, but whatever, that's beside the freaking point. Um, most of the stuff I wanted and I talked about in all these, these videos, the Best Buy Black Friday ad, the Target one, um, you know, I've looked at Amazon and, and, and GameStop and there was a handful of things I wanted. But here's the thing, it's not Black Friday yet. And I've already got the things I wanted for Black Friday prices. Detroit Become Human, 20 bucks. That's the Black Friday price. You got freaking Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I don't remember how much, but it was like the Black Friday price. I don't have this in the package because I busted this bad boy out, but Black Friday price. Before Black Friday. What the hell? Let me set that down nicely. That thing's awesome looking. Starlink. Black Friday price. Before Black Friday. These businesses and companies are getting more and more competitive putting up these little early bird sales or you know putting up sales before black friday that are the black friday prices i'm just not excited for black friday i got everything i wanted for the most part and that's the crazy thing is i think some of these companies they're just like no man <laughs> like we got to get those sales now we want them now let's let's entice people to buy this stuff amazon has most of these things up at this moment you know as far as these prices go and, you know, I know Best Buy did some teaser stuff with, with pricing for Black Friday. You could get things earlier. This, uh, you know, PlayStation bundle's been available. Why, if you're into video games, is there any reason to go out on Black Friday? With these early sales, I don't think so, man. At least not for me. I mean, maybe there's a couple things that didn't go on sale prior to Black Friday, but most of the stuff you could find out there. And in all honesty... There wasn't a ton of stuff I was excited for. The biggest thing I was excited for was Starlink, because I really wanted to play this. You know, my boy Dwayne Hurst, he was showing me the game, or not really showing me the game, but showing me the figures and talking about, like, you know, it's a pretty cool game and all that. And kind of, kind of enticed me to really say, you know what, screw it. I want this too, because I've already been looking at it. But to hear somebody else who's got a, you know, a respectable opinion say, hey, it's a pretty cool game. That sold me on it more so than anybody's review, because I haven't even watched reviews on this thing. I'm just going by people that I know, what they say. And I was like, I gotta have that game, but I don't want to spend those $75. <laughs> so, Black Friday price, got it, you know? And now, come Thursday, which is the new Black Friday for a few years now, it used to be like, Black Friday would start at midnight, so people would eat their Thanksgiving dinner, do whatever, you know, wash up, 
and go out on the town for Black Friday, Thursday night, right? You know, still, they, hey, you could have some time to yourself, to your family, friends, whatever the hell you wanted to do. And then go line up somewhere, even though people would line up a week ahead of time. I mean, it gets crazy out there, really crazy. This year, it's kind of funny. Whoa, that was, that was loud, man. This year is kind of funny. At my Best Buy, there's always this woman that tents up a week before. And there was nobody there. So I'm just like, maybe people are just not excited about Black Friday because maybe the other things that people are looking for have already been on sale as well. So what's really enticing people to go out there? For us gamers, like I said, all these prices have already been available within the past week or so. It's just nuts. Am I going to go to the store and buy any of this? No. If I want this membership, the 12-month Sony membership, which is the other thing I kind of want to get, I can get it online for 39 bucks right now. So really, what's the point? Is the point to just go out there and experience being around a shit ton of people? Being crowded and frustrated and annoyed? I don't know about you, man. I'm, I'm fairly irritable. <laughs> if, if you're rubbing on me in line... Touching on me, if you're chewing gum loudly behind you, behind me, I just, I like, mm, like it just destroys me, destroys me from the inside. Like I just want to, just want to punch a baby or two. And it, it's, it's, it, you know, it becomes a rage. Sometimes it can be enjoyable to go out. Sometimes it's not. And, you know, there's a lot of rude and inconsiderate people out there. Years ago, I would go with a friend of mine. We would hit a Best Buy, Circuit City. Yeah, Circuit City. Remember Circuit City? Um, what else? Like m maybe Target, stuff like that. But mostly like Best Buy and Circuit City. And I remember waiting in line at Best Buy before they opened, which was a stupid mistake. I've never, uh, that was like, I think the first and last time I ever done that, where I went to the store before they opened. No, I take that back. There was one time I, I lined up at GameStop before they opened and they were opening at midnight. So that was when it was still, you know, it was turning officially into... Black Friday, but I remember, yeah, lining up, but at a Best Buy, I remember lining up and just standing there like a freaking idiot for what? For a couple games, right? But I remember standing there in line with my buddy and, and we're just watching these people pulling in, trying to get parking spots and people fighting, people pulling out knives, crazy shit like that. That's just like unacceptable. Like, and you're just watching it as an outsider, like, holy crap, dude, this could, this could become real. It's already real, but it could become even more real. Somebody could die here tonight over a freaking parking spot. And that kind of vibe just, like, it pulsates into the stores, too. People punching each other. People at Walmarts are crazy, man. When you see them going ape shit over these cheap-ass TVs, like, why? Why do you need a new TV every year? <laughs> I mean, more power to you if you can afford that and do that, and it's a good deal. Great, you know, but to just become a, a you know an animal. I don't even want to say animal because that's disrespectful to other animals. But to become like a beast, even though that's everybody's easily offended nowadays. So no matter what the frick I say, somebody will be offended. Beasts will be offended. My apologies. Actually, I don't apologize to anybody. So if you're a beast, screw you. But people become beasts out there, man. They, they're not themselves, and it's just stupid. And it's, it's, it's not fun. It's never been fun for me. The excitement part was like, hey, getting a game or two that I wanted for a reasonable price. But now I don't even have to leave home to get this stuff. Starlink came in the mail today, <laughs> you know. <laughs> These other games, sure, I actually did leave the house to get them. But, you know, most of this stuff you can get online. You don't even have to leave, man. I remember when I was a kid, we would we would have Thanksgiving dinner at home, and um, sometimes you know we'd go out to the movies later in the day. You know, it was an all day thing. You know, us as kids, we'd you know be home all day watching cartoons and maybe playing some NES or something, watching the parade on TV. I don't you know what was it, the Macy's Day parade? I don't remember what the fr I don't watch that crap anymore. It's I don't watch parades. Parades are freaking boring. You know, there's no change in my mind on that. Parades are freaking boring. <laughs> but we would watch that crap. Watch Garfield or something. You know, Garfield and, and freaking Charlie Brown, you know, Peanuts. That was always that was always the tradition around this time of year. I tried reintroducing some of that stuff to my kids, but it's just a different time, man. They don't care. Actually, my kids really like the old Garfield stuff, so that's good. 
But yeah, that's what we would do. Chill at home, relax, unwind, hang out, freaking get our grub on, and then maybe go to a movie. I don't remember ever doing Black Friday shopping when I was a kid. I don't remember my family ever going out doing Black Friday shopping. I don't know if it existed or not. I don't remember, to be honest with you. Like, if any of you guys know, what's the history of Black Friday? When did this shit start? Because I seriously, I don't remember any of this from a ch being a kid. I don't remember ever. You know, I remember, yeah, there were sales and stuff, and you would go out with your, your parents or whatever. But I don't remember any kind of Thanksgiving tradition of going out that night or that next day to go do some massive shopping. I mean, maybe that was just my family and, you know... I don't want to say we were sheltered because I wasn't sheltered, man. I was out in town at like the age of eight, just walking everywhere all over the place. But I just don't remember that stuff. Now it's just a different time. People want to spend money. I'm just as guilty, man. I spend money stupidly. But like I said, who the hell needs a new TV every year? I don't know. But 2018 Black Friday sucks. Reason being is because all this stuff is already available or has been available at these prices for the stuff I'm interested in. I may still try to go get that dang, I might, I don't know. If it's online, I'll just buy it online, why not? But I don't know if I even need that. I don't need it. I didn't need this or the controller or any of that other stuff. It's just kind of a want, right? But that's that's what happens is we want, 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 and we just buy, 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 punch, 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 fight, fight, fight. People getting shanked in parking lots over a spot. Stupid stuff, guys, but hey, if you go out Black Friday shopping, stay safe, my fellas, my ladies, all you guys, stay safe, have fun. Do whatever matters to you. I'm just speaking my mind, ranting and raving about a bunch of BS. So, appreciate you guys hanging out with me, Listen to this nonsense. With that said, guys, I will catch you next time. But before then, make sure you make sweet love to that notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Slap the crap out of that freaking like button, right? Slap it. And I will catch you next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom! Man, I'm screwing up my outro.